To get started, drag the icon pointer button into your Elementor column. What this widget does, it presents an icon button with a small pointer effect. I'm going to take you over the settings and show you how you can customize this to your website needs. So over here we can change the text of the button, for example, by now. And we can change the icon as well. So I'm going to add a cart icon, for example, because it's a buy button. And we can link this to anywhere we want. We can decide to align the button differently depending on our website design. Inside of the style tab, we can change the icon width. This is the width of the icon area size. So over here, I can play around with this slider, make the icon side width a little bit bigger. We can change the icon background color. So for example, I'll make that blue and we can change its hover color. So let's say for hover, I'm going to go for a different grade of blue looking nice. You can also change the color of the icon itself. So for example, when we're hovering over it, I want it to be black. Looks good. Over here, we can add a rotation for the icon when we're hovering over the button. So I'm going to make a small rotation over here. Let's say like 25 degrees. And you can see now it's sort of rotating once we hover over it. That's kind of cool. And you can leave this off if you don't like that. Icon size, we can make the icon a little bit bigger if we need to. So there you go. Button style. So over here we have typography. We can make our text a little bit bigger as well. And we can uh, also change the font family and all of the other typography settings that you're usual to with Elementor Page Builder. Over here we can change the background color of the right side. So let's change that to black and maybe on hover Let's change it to gray. Awesome. Text color, text color on, on hover. I'm not going to touch those. Button radius, so you can make your button all the way rounded. Or you can make it a square. So just play around with that depending on your website design. Text padding is the padding around the text area. So we can make our button a bit wider if we want by adding some more right padding and left padding so that's one way to make our button wider you can also change the button minimum width so if i'll push this all the way you can see that now it's making it even wider if the button is not that wide then it will make it whatever pixels you desire awesome so that looks pretty good over here we can also add a button border so i'm just going to add a solid border over here and I'm just going to give this, let's say, also a blue color so it fits our design over here. And you can also give a different border on hover, of course, if you want to. Inside of the pointer area, we can decide how big this pointer is. So I can make the width bigger. I can make the height bigger. And you can also decide if you want to turn it off overall or on. So sometimes People like using this button just like this without the pointer. I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful and I'll see you in the next video.